I think <clears throat> I think we are live here. Good morning, good morning, hello, and welcome back. Uh, welcome to live streaming. So today's video, let's talk about your espresso machine again. I know I've been getting a lot of message from uh, someone that just bought a new machine recently and wants to return their their Bravo machines. So this person bought a Bravo Vista Pro, actually Express. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was on big sale on Amazon, and then he was excited about it, and now he wants to return it. Okay, I know who you are, so before you return it, watch this video, okay, and then decide because I don't want you to discourage, you know, using this machine and then just return it after a couple of weeks. I know it is not easy machine to use. In contrary, whenever you watch social media, pulling a great shot. Wow, you know, guess what? I can do that as well. In reality is, it's not, you gotta, you have to spend some time, okay? You have to, you have to invest your time to make decent shot every single day. So you gotta repeat that every single time. So that's the reason why I'm making a lot of Bravo videos so that, you know, at least I can show you guys, hey, if I can do it, you can do it as well. So uh, let's make uh, another coffee this morning. So I'm gonna be using the store-bought coffee. Okay, so this is the store-bought coffee. Uh, so this is more like medium to dark roast. So this is pretty much typical store-bought. So like Pete's coffee or you know Starbucks, whatever that is. Pretty much something like this. Hold on, maybe I can show you guys. Something like this, okay, very medium to dark, more like dark, okay? If you smell it, very stale, smells like tobacco. Yeah, it's not that great. But, I mean, that's something we are accustomed to. So let's pull the shot. Uh, so before we start, I know people ask me about the grind size a lot. So recently, I changed my inner bird setting. So inner bird means, uh, I have a video on that as well. Okay, my inner bird, so this one, and you can adjust the So this is, uh, you can change to one through 10. I'm at size number two, okay? I'm at number two inside. Outside at number 13, okay? So 13 outside, inside is number two. I know if you, uh, and so this is again like store-bought coffee here, uh, more like dark roast. There's no medium roast if you can, uh, if you buy from store. You even even say medium on it, most likely it's dark. Okay, dark. Okay, so I already measured out 18 gram. I'm big fan of single dose. All right, E scale measure out 18 gram. Again, if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're new to the video uh, coffee machine, just follow my step. Okay. Invest ten dollars on your scale. That's all you need. Okay, just spend about ten bucks and just measure out. I like to go eighteen gram. Do the single dose option. Put that coffee in. All right. You know, let me flip the camera so you guys can see it better. There we go. And it comes to pour filter. I'm using the bottomless, you know, because I like to show you the extraction, but just spout it just fine as well. Okay, don't worry about bottomless. You don't need it. Okay. And I highly recommend 3D dosing funnel. Okay, so this is kind of like must, must to have. You can get from Amazon, really cheap. That's it, okay. I, I usually set up about 19 seconds for the grind time. You can actually adjust it. I set up about 19 seconds there. Okay, my grind size at number 13, and inner bird <clears throat> is at number two, all right? At this point, I know a lot of people like to do like WDT or other kind of technique. Uh, let's skip that today, okay? Let's skip that. 
I'm just gonna just tap it. Just use my finger. Just make sure, make sure, uh, nice, nicely flat. Just tamp it, okay? Just tamp it, nice and even. That's all, okay? Uh, don't worry about the tamping pressure. Uh, just be consistent every single time. That's all you gotta do. Okay, just the consistency. That's all you gotta do there. And the only tools I'm using is uh, just the puck screen. That's all. Okay. Uh, you don't need it, but I just like to use it. All right, let's put a shot. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Let's find out what kind of shot we're gonna get. I usually measure out the scale, but I, I just want to show you, okay? I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to, I like to use the manual mode. Hold it down for like a couple of seconds. I'm going to hold down about one, two, three, and just let go. Yeah. That's it. Shot looks pretty good. I'm just gonna wait about about now. Twenty four seconds. Okay, beautiful crema. So again, that's store bought coffee, folks. Just regular store bought coffee. I think that's the. I think I got that coffee about a couple weeks ago. I believe that's Pete's coffee. Okay, I think that's a Pete's coffee. I used it. You know, cost about what? Eight dollars? For like 12 ounces back there. Coffee uh, looks really good. I mean, looks good, right? You know, let's try this coffee. I'm very curious. Okay, cheers guys. I'm just gonna mix it. Yeah. So this is a dark roast. It should be very simple tasting. No, it should be like dark chocolate. Man, here we go. Yeah, dark chocolate. It's it's not sweet. It's more like bitter, kind of like uh, yeah, kind of dark chocolate taste. Not that great. So, but this is really great for Americana. Okay, hold on. I need some cups here. I'm just gonna get some cup. And uh, I, I like to boil my water. I don't know about you guys, but I like to just boil my water for my Americano. I'm just gonna add this hot water. And so this is great for, you know, in the morning. Just, you, you just want a simple coffee, you know, not too crazy, you know, getting out. Cheers guys, I'm just going to have a one sip here. Yeah, it's fine. Fine coffee. Anyway, I, I actually, uh, this is my, my son, son's coffee. Ian, your coffee's ready, son. Yeah, so my, that's my son's coffee. He's not into like... Uh, lighter coffee like Ethiopia but again uh, if you are just joining us thinking about giving, uh, giving up on your coffee machine especially returning it done okay I mean as you saw on this video I mean once you get your workflow okay we talk about workflow a lot once you get your step down it should be should be cruising okay you should be cruising every single morning because I mean, most of you, you guys like maybe one or two coffee. You guys are using the same beans every single week anyway. Spend about a few minutes in the morning, maybe like on weekends, and dial that coffee in, dialed in, okay? Dialed in means, you know, get the ratio you like, 
pretty much it because it comes to grind size it's not going to change much throughout the week once you buy from a uh, store-bought coffee if you buy freshly roasted coffee grind size may change one or two steps up or down but other than that uh, especially store-bought stay the same okay stay the same for a while so i want to worry about it again the reason why i like to use just the puck screen optional all right because just a dry puck you know i get a dry puck every single time using my puck screen so uh, actually i do have a link on my uh, description section so make sure to check it out uh meantime let's check out your live chat here so that's what we do okay so we make video in the morning and then i'm going to check out uh, what you guys are talking about and then also i do a lot of shout outs as well shout out to my jason we got bruce top jet you got iman's on as well I imran i think i'm uh, uh, tristan penman is some uh, someone new okay he said penman said how much milk do you add to your espresso shot uh, if you make latte you know let's talk about that for a second okay yeah let me show you do you have a views okay, any pre-infusion time for sales machine what causes wet puck okay uh, what causes wet puck uh, it could be grinds uh, could be the freshness of the coffee all right uh, if the coffee is too is old okay I feel like you got the uh, wet puck there but you know don't worry about the, the wetness in your puck okay I know some people really worry about the wetness don't worry about it as long as your coffee tastes good who cares okay it's a little messy clean up but yeah if I were you don't worry about the wetness in your coffee what's important is what's in your cup all right what's in your cup okay because if your shot looks ugly from the bottomless pore filter again don't worry about it here right here what's in your cup as long as your cup is good you're gonna be fine okay so let's talk about the, how much milk you need uh comes to lattes all depend on your milk jug all right it's all depend on your milk jug there so i have a smaller milk jug okay and the, uh this is about the same size as the, the bravo whatever you buy machine you're gonna comes with the, the milk jug from bravo i'm gonna put about uh just below the spout okay just below the spout and then the another key thing you have to worry about is the cup size okay so i mean it's definitely worth getting the right cup size so this is a cup from uh it's a it's a not neutral cup so this is the large the latte okay this is a large hold on a second this is really big goodness yep so this is a large latte size okay this is the uh, medium size latte cup okay large medium so this is big too but personally i like cappuccino okay i like cappuccino look at the size difference look at the cup size difference there so uh comes to milk uh it's all about the ratio cappuccino is about one part espresso two part milk okay one to two cappuccino and the latte depend on the size one to three or one to four okay Co coffee is about the double shot okay you always go the double shots but other than that and then again depend on the milk jug i just put just below the spout okay just below the spout there so I mean, so that's the uh, I know I know you guys are curious about it because you do not want to put too much milk because it's gonna be increase the value, volume of that. So, uh, unless someone asked me about the water temperature, water temp. You know what? Uh, I usually set out like hold on, let me check my. I set a default temperature. Okay, I set a default because uh, if you are using store bought coffee, there's more like dark roast there yeah i set a default temperature if you are using a very lighter roast like ethiopia light roast i go to the highest so that's what i like to use 
Again, if you are just joining us, uh, welcome to live streaming. And make sure thumbs up on the video, okay? Make sure thumbs up. Uh, also, we got. Uh, I'm getting a new grinder this week. Okay, I'm getting a new grinder this week. I cannot wait to share that with you. And but again, if you are brand new to the machine, the Bravo, don't worry about the gadgets. I know if you are into gadgets, you are in the right channel. Okay, as you know, I'm I love coffee gadgets. But it comes to making a good coffee, you don't need a gadget. Okay, if someone say you must have fancy WDT tools to make great coffee, answer is no. Okay, you just make yourself with a wine cork, uh, with some even paper clip or so. This is acupuncture needle. Okay, cost you a few bucks on Amazon. This is work as good as the fancy tools. Okay, so again, you don't need fancy tools to make great coffee. The, the reason why I like fancy tools is a lot of fun to use. All right, especially this nicely wooden temper from San Anthony. So this is one of my favorite tools. Again, it's not gonna make your coffee any better, but this is more precise because uh, the stock uh, temper is about 53 millimeter. So this is like 53.3 millimeter. So it give you even perfect fit. But uh, only thing good for this one is it looks good, has magnetic on it. You can store it right underneath. Okay, that's about it. All right. So this one is about 80 bucks. Is that worth 80 bucks? Most likely not. Okay, most likely not. But again, uh, once you start, coffee has become your hobby. And then we, uh, we are thinking about uh, tools. Okay, but if coffee is not a hobby for you. All right. If you, you just want to make coffee in the morning, I'm talking about good coffee every single morning. Uh, don't worry about the tools. Okay, don't worry about the tools. Just, just get your routine down and you're gonna have some fun. Only tools you need, again, chip scale from Amazon, all right? So this is a 3D dosing funnel from Amazon as well. I do have a link under my video. That's all you need, guys, all right? So this is, uh, I think this is a must, okay? So much easier to use once you have this. I mean, that's all you need. Comes to puck screen or Beautiful distribution tools. Again, I'm mean, that's hobby. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, let's talk about more about the next couple of days because I do want to address that. You know, comes to tools wise, there's a lot of unnecessary tools out there. You know, I feel like you guys are wasting a lot of money on it. But so that's kind of a, di a, di a difference between coffee hobbyist versus coffee drinker. Okay. If, if, if you want to make just good coffee, I mean, they have tools for that, okay? But if your coffee has become your hobby, part of your lifestyle, guess what? Uh, we can talk about it all day long, okay? There's great tools, okay? They got amazing tools out there. And it comes to grinder, all right? So we are, we are going to also talk about grinders as well. Again, I'm getting a, this wonderful grinder, uh, sometime this week and i can't wait to share that with you let's see here i'm gonna check out your live chat for the one last time let's see here let's see uh pen man say how much milk okay okay we talk about the 21 grab oh single shot hold on a second single shot man you do single shot goodness uh which means you are using the single baskets uh, that's a different story. So you got to lower your milk even more. Okay, you, you have to lower it. Okay, but uh, Comes to single shot if you are thinking about doing single shot on your Bravo machine Stop, okay, just do double all right because so hard to dial then the single shot is You know, uh, maybe, maybe we should do the video on it tomorrow morning. I'm gonna show you guys how to dial then single shot, but if I were you, stop doing it. Just drink the double. 
Okay, hold on a second. You got the top jet say used by your local roster about thirteen dollars for pound. Okay, pound thirteen bucks per pound. Because most coffee, most specialty coffee, they give you a ten or twelve ounce. They charge you about anywhere between sixteen and twenty dollars per ten to twelve ounce. If you go to a local shop, depend on the local shop, uh, top jet uh, nearby top jet's uh, local shop, they are thirteen dollars per sixteen ounce. That's one pound. So that's pretty good. If you go to Costco right now, I saw Lavacha, the two pound bag, for what? Like 17 bucks, 18 dollars per two pound bag. So it all depends where you go. So let's see here. NC Citizen, doesn't matter what tools I use, still get channeling. Okay. So still get channel. Maybe we should talk about that tomorrow too, in the next couple of days, the in-depth on how to stop channeling. Because it's sometimes it, uh, it is 99% of the time it is the coffee. All right, I don't know what kind of coffee you are uh, uh, using, but most times it, it is a coffee, and especially like medium to dark roast, I see less channeling. But if you are using kind of a lighter roast, you're gonna see a lot more, okay? Especially if you're using, obviously you are using bottomless pore filter, that's obvious. But if you are using spout, you can all hide it. Okay, you still see the channeling, but it's gonna be high, so it's not get messy. So, again, if you care about that, is channeling matters comes to flavor? Not really. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think you, you. I don't think you are going to tell, especially espresso, dark roast. It's gonna be hard to tell if the quality difference is such minuscule. Man, I mean, if you can tell that, you are not a novice. Okay, you are. You are definitely coffee hobbyist for sure. All right, coffee hobbyist for sure. So. All right, hold on a second. You know, we have someone. Someone is asking me. Okay, hold on. Someone asked me about uh, what is your thoughts on Franzetto? Franzetto, uh, all ground, grind the coffee grind. They're great though. I mean, they're fantastic. Okay, there are so many great grinders out there. I cannot keep track of it. I mean, if you can see me on my live stream in the afternoon session on my uh, coffee my coffee desk it's not even coffee studio my coffee desk you see me with a lot of different grinders behind me i've been trying out numerous grinders over the years i'm trying to find that one okay one or two perfect grinders but again there's no such thing folks okay there's no such thing so whatever you have whatever going there have is going to be good enough if i were you spend money on good coffee okay spend money on good coffee and spend some time okay spend some time on your brewing method okay it comes to brewing method just pick one just pick one brew method that's it you don't have to go try different brewing method okay don't be like me okay if you like v60 okay spend time on v60 there's a lot of fantastic recipes out there try all of them all right try all the recipes and then pick out the one best suited for you, all right? And then, and then master it, all right? So use that one as your uh, first step. Okay, use, uh, use the brewing method as your, your foundation. And then you start adding on your, you know, you are going to develop your own technique after that. Once you master it, now that is your coffee recipe for filter coffee. All right, uh, same for the uh, espresso as well. Same brewing method. Uh, so they give you like between 25 and 30 second shot. So that is your foundation. That's kind of like baseline. Some people don't like 25 second shots. Some people prefer 30 seconds. Okay. And the, some, someone, uh, some people like 18 gram shot or 20 gram shot. So that's the guideline. And play with it. 
play with it and also like play with the pre-infusion time uh, comes to pre-infusion there's no magic number some people like to go five seconds some people like to go three seconds Bravo Booster Pro if we press the button I'm just gonna press the button pre-infusion shot shows up here one two three four four seconds okay I think it's four or five seconds as a pre-infusion that's it the pre-infusion means a very low pressure coming down so anyway uh, I hope uh, this video helps again uh, don't give up uh, don't give up on your machine yet okay and uh, if you're having a still hard time with it I have a plenty of videos on my channel if you haven't subscribed I do have a plenty of videos on especially Bravo machines behind me anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and see you guys in about a couple of hours